Hello everybody, uh, my name is Thilo, I'm a backpacker from German, uh, Germany, I'm on the Hihor podcast and I recently walked all the way across Trinidad from the furthest points and all without any money or equipment, just with my clothes and a camera. Excellent stuff. Let's start the show. You know, um, the, um, how do you say it? How do you say it? Die, 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 podcast. die in sing it podcast. See, I had to Google yeah. translate that. <laughs> the only podcast that will make you walk a mile and a half till it's till it's just for his for his benefit. That was uh, that, that was apt. That was apt. It was for his benefit. That was for his benefit. Anyway, he ho episode, episode 49. 49. 49. Yeah, I yeah see. again. Um I see we had um start up in the auntie now, baby. We're gonna up in the auntie. Yeah. We had up at some We hear a lot more. We're trying to actually bring a little bit more interesting guests on thing to the show. So today um, we have um the the guy that we have a lot of interesting questions here by the we way. We have a whole lot Thank of you. questions. Actually. Thank you. <laughs> About jump back. Yeah. So he introduced himself. Straight from Deutschland. Yeah. yeah. One one day I was walking down the road, going through my social media as I usually yeah. do. And there's this guy saying he's gonna walk from one end of Trinidad to the next. Yeah. <laughs> there's only one other person who claimed such grand feats. Um I would kinda of, yeah, I could call names on the show, man, is my Show. Watson Duke. You remember when that nigga was going to Simta Tobago? Hey, what did he forget from? <laughs> when he jumped into the water when he went suit on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, so out. there was a guy who said he was going to swim to Tobago. Oh. Um, um, if you see the, the, the person's physique, physique mm. you're not going to think that this person could swim 10 not, meters. Mm. So his um, claim was that he's going to swim to Tobago to protest some issue Trinidad and Tobago was having at the point in time. Whoa. Probably politically. Mm. And it never happened. So, so yeah. because you, you know the distance between Trinidad and Tobago, thirty-seven what? kilometers. Yeah, that's a yeah. lot. He was going to swim swimming, long. swimming distance. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Anyway, straight out to Deutschland. Deutsch. I I seen it properly. I seen it. Sorry. Uh, am I am I seeing it properly? Of course. Deutschland. Deutschland. Yes. Deutschland. Deutschland. So what this what we have to, to, yeah. to yeah. To come to Trinidad, Tilo. Why I came to Trinidad? Yeah. You have good dry docks, is like the short answer. Dry docks? Dry docks. Dry docks. So, like, those are the things where you put your boat if you need to repair your boat. Oh, so, oh. basically, I um, hitchhiked across the Atlantic Ocean. I worked on a sailing boat um, uh, to cross the Atlantic Ocean, like, as a crew member. And if you work on a sailing boat, you go where captain says you go. And captain says, uh, I need to fix my boat, so we go to Trinidad. Wow, okay. And, and that's why I went to Trinidad. And Amazing. You no, know, like, you, you, you just get to walk on the, walk on the show, or, like, you have to go to regular immigration and stuff? No, I have. I'm illegally in this country, yeah. Oh, that like, was, oh, damn. Like a, regular immigration, like it's a little bit different if you go on the boat. I'm technically registered on the boat, and I technically here as a, like a crew member. Uh -huh. But I still leave the boat. The captain has now gone back to America. He's gonna fix his boat, and uh, I go on my way. So, uh -huh. you, so you're stuck here until your parents then say, "What are you still doing there? Come back home." Nah, nah. Yeah, my parents always want me to go back home, but okay. that's probably not gonna happen for like a long time. A young man deciding to adventure. Yeah. Into on the unknown. unknown. Yeah. You Something know. like that. Yeah. What sparked that fire? Uh, uh, I finished high school. <laughs> How old are you? 20. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So I just finished high school and, well, it's a very long story, but We've I got tried time. To, We are not more time. time. Yeah, no, I, I tried to make it so short. So I just finished high school and I basically need to do something with my life. I'm from like a small village, like nothing going on. I've lived my whole life in this village and uh, yeah, I need to do something. I didn't want to study yet. Everybody in my village studied. So um, first I went like on a pilgrimage. You know what a pilgrimage is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I walked from uh, Germany to, it's called Camino Santiago. I walked from Germany to Spain. It's like a little under 3,000 kilometers, I think. And yeah, I did it like because... Basically, I, want to, I wanted to, like, find myself and find something to do with my life. And did you find what you was looking for on the pilgrimage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, decided, I found uh, something I wanted to do with my life. Well, what, what was her name? What yeah. was her name? What? What was her name? 
No, no, it wasn't oh, about a girl. Oh, okay. It wasn't it's, about a girl. It's just messing with you. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Um, no, I decided that it was really awesome. So I started basically with just a coincidence that I do all of this because it's all sparked by this pilgrimage. Um, I, I like worked for like an entire month to like save up for the money on this pilgrimage. And then when I started, I uh, had forgotten all the money at home. I had only 50 euros with me, like someone gave the day uh, before to me, and uh, my credit card um, didn't work because I just ordered it like the week before. So I didn't get like the code of the credit card. Shit. But I started walking anyway. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like a long, long story because it's like four months of walking, but... Every day. Yeah, every day, every day. I think like it's 100, 125 days and three days out of that I didn't walk. Uh, three or four days. But other than that, 125 days I walked 24 kilometers a day. Your parents know where you are, right? Like, yeah, no, okay, they know, okay, they know okay. where I am. I didn't like run away from home. Like maybe okay. it's somewhat, but you know, <laughs> they okay, know where I am. We still have a good relationship and okay, all of that. Okay, okay. Let's check it. Yeah, basically I, I walked to Spain with like 50 euros. I... Spent like one euro a day, less than one euro a day. I only ate like oatmeal and water and I worked in like the Champagne. It's like, um, you know, Cham Ch champagne, champagne, yeah. you know, champagne. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the region in France where this made. I like okay, work, great. work making champagne, like got a little bit of money on that. Some people gave me like a little bit of money here and there. And then I just basically went inside the village and asked people for a place to sleep. Right. And not out of like, out of like a necessity. Right. Because I didn't have the money to buy hmm. any hostels and just just walked up and yeah try to figure out the place to sleep and i wasn't like i wasn't like an outgoing guy i was like the super shy guy i didn't have like i had like two three friends right mm. i was the complete opposite i would you would never expect me to do this right i didn't have any girlfriend i just nobody really i wasn't super unpopular i was i wasn't even scared to like buy a bread in the bread shop as I started. But the thing bread is, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, like the bakery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the thing is, um, once you start, you have like the necessity, right? Mm. You're, you're in it, right? And uh, you have to go through this. There's like no way, especially the further you go from home, right? When you like have very little money, you like need to make this work right now, right? So it kind of forced me to go outside. I really hated it, right? The first night I didn't have a place to sleep. I went inside like a village and there was just like a big celebration going on and I walked past like the first people and then there was just like the small driveway and for like I think half an hour I just walked up and down the driveway because I was so scared to talk to people and I just went back and I talked to them and you know they called their priest and I'm like yeah you can sleep in our school so basically I was super insecure it was the complete opposite but the thing is if you like ask random people for a place to sleep for like a hundred days straight or so eventually like, you, you get like a little bit used to that but it, at least it's still in, it's, it takes some time right at least like 50 days or so until it starts getting better so you see what you, you so see th th that's basically how it sparked and um, then i hitchhiked back to germany i uh, earned a little bit of money um working different kind of jobs in my village like a factory nearby and uh, i bought my equipment i bought a med medical insurance and then what i was like okay uh, I have a dream. I want to see the Amazon rainforest. I want to live in the Amazon rainforest. You know, I just managed to walk across Europe for like 50 years. And I was like, okay, let's go one step further. I want to hitchhike to the Amazon rainforest, starting with no money. And I don't want to use planes. And yeah, this is... The, then I just took my backpack one day and walked outside of my village through the woods to the next highway. And yeah, started hitchhiking. Listen, Basically. listen. Yeah, the, what you're saying to us right now is crazy. Is yeah, abstract. It's crazy. Yeah, no, I know, I know. It's crazy it's, to a lot it, of people. Is because the, yeah, is the, is the is the is the crime rate really high in like all the places that you walk in? Well, not really in Germany. Not really. Mm. Depending on how and where and what Berlin. I was in Berlin. I was in Paris. There's some crime rate, but <laughs> some crime rate. You know, um, yeah, so, crime is crime. It always yeah. happen. In my village, there was like no serious crime at all. Wow. It's like, I don't know, it's a, a German village don't really have crime. I mean, they have crime, but it's like, I don't know, some, some dude who doesn't have a driver's license. Actually, there was like one dude who drove like 22 years without a driver's license, but like nobody kills each other or they don't steal because everybody just knows who. That's unheard of. You know, you can't do it. The, you know, the, the big, the, oh no, it's the unlicensed driver. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, but <laughs> you, you don't, you know, laws are like 
they don't care about laws, yeah. No, well, yeah. this, well, is, this cool. is the the sweetest island in yeah. the Caribbean, so, apparently. What was the culture shock like coming here now? Because first off, um, I don't want to seem weird, but like, are you accustomed to seeing like pigment? Not pigment. You should say, like, are you accustomed to seeing black, black people? people? Are you accustomed yeah. to seeing like yeah. a lot of black people? But, like, what was the culture shock to be like? Yo, okay, here's curly. You guys have brown eyes. Uh I don't, it's, it's somewhat of a culture shock. You know, I, I get used to culture shocks. You know? yeah. Well, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm from a small village. So even going to like Berlin was like a huge culture shock with like so many people and police and crime. And then I was to mm. Paris and then I sailed across the Atlantic, which is like, you sail across the Atlantic, what the oh, hell? And I went to Cape Verde, which is... South Africa. Yeah. 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 There are like other, there are certain cultural shocks I have here, like black, black people is one of them, but... I don't know. It's I need to think about it more. Like it's a lot of lot of different things. What what stood out the most to you when you came to Trinidad? What was the most important? Well, the most impactful thing that stood out the most? Uh, I don't know. It changes over time. There's so many different kind of maybe the rainforest, the heat, you know, constant heat. Yeah. Ah. Um, okay. And the the animals. They're like yeah. No, they're so different here. What animals? Like, like you have got lizards running around everywhere, you oh, know? Okay, okay. okay. You know, yeah. In Europe, we would have, like, mice running around or something like that. Or oh, we, you didn't like see all mice yet? No, no, I didn't see them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was mean, lucky. per capita, I guess. I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you've been to Port of Spain? You've been to yeah. Port of Spain. You haven't yeah, seen yeah, rats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I haven't seen. No, like, maybe it's a few, but, you know. Well, okay. I don't know. This is a, this, the, how many people that, all right, you say you didn't grow up in much friends. Shy guy. Yeah, and, I had like a small, tight friend group, and that's r- it. Like, right. So you keep in contact with your friends. Yeah. All right. This is something that's probably very rare among people in general mm-hmm. that you decide to pick up one day with yeah. your backpack, yeah. all the money, and just yeah go sail around, around the west, around the world. Yeah. You know, um, is when you read about stories like that, you know, and it's a uh, is is amazing to know that. Some way or form, Trinidad and Tobago end up in the whole mix, you know? Yeah, that's, no, you know? that's crazy. Because it's happened by chance, yeah. like the Trinidad part happened by yeah, chance. Yeah, no, I never heard of Trinidad like a uh, month ago or something. No, 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 no I'm part. already a month here, but like two months ago. So, interesting experiences. Was he, what, what have you experienced from Trinidad or in Trinidad? So uh, well, well, basically, I arrived on the, uh, in Trinidad and I stayed like four days in some like luxury like called cruising with like my Shagaramas. captain yeah oh. Shagaramas out okay. there and then basically the captain left and was just like on my own slept uh, the first uh, week or so I slept in like the jungle up in Shagaramas right yeah, the you forest. Have like, the you forest. Have like your camping gear and stuff yeah yeah I have, like okay. a big big backpack with everything I okay need. okay mm. and uh, you just went in Port of Spain with like the bus each day and I don't know, it's uh, it kind of crazy, especially like the first night sleeping in the jungle, it was like already getting dark and, you know, everybody tells you about the snakes and everything and just mm. like walking through the jungle and this is so like foreign to me as like a European, right? The jungle. Well, 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 well where, you, where you enter does in Chagramas is yeah. sort of different in terms of biodiversity yeah. than the rest of the northern range. Yeah. It's more like desertified yeah. in a sense. Yeah, no, it wasn't like real jungle, jungle. But for me, it was another yeah. jungle to be jungle. I mean, if you're interested, we could take it some to some jungle, jungle. Some jungle. Jungle, jungle. It's all good. Yeah, no, I, I'm going there. <laughs> I'm going. This is like my end point, at least. Okay. Laza, right now. that was um, the jungle, but we're talking about the people now. The people. Um, Trinidad has a, a unique mix of people. Yeah, yeah, no, you've got everything. You've got blacks, you've got oh, Indians, Indians, you've got yeah, yeah. And Chinese, you've got, you've got some white people. We have everything. Yeah. Everything. yeah. Even aliens. You know. yeah, aliens. Oh, no, I didn't meet them. You, you mean them? The no, green no. skins? You didn't meet them? No, green, no, no. The no, green no, skins? No. There were a couple, though. You didn't see the green skins? Yeah. Several different species, I, I would actually like, tell you. Yeah. You need to show me those. <sighs> yeah, you, you came too late. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll show you. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we have a unique sense of humor a uh, sense of how we communicate yeah. I think in Trinidad it's a it's a bit like paradise is becoming like a, 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 a it is over it's evo- erupting right yeah. where we start to see a whole lot more violence we start to see a whole lot more issues that sadly is just part of our growing people 
Yeah. But I noticed one thing in your story is that we had to talk about where um, you were robbed, I believe. Well, they tried to rob me, so it's technically a yeah. attempted robbery. Um, <laughs> robbery of what, though? Like the backpack? No, no, I didn't have like a backpack. That was at the start. I had nothing other than my phone. They tried to get my phone. So basically, I was just walking out of like a village, and some guys, probably from the village, some young guys saw me, and they like waited for me like in the jungle outside of the village. <laughs> and, yeah, no, and then they just like ran to me, and one guy like wrestled me down and tried to get my phone, and you know my like phone phone through like flew on the other side of the road because he just like threw me on the ground, and I wrestled him, like I threw him away, and then we dive for the phone. I got the first, and I just started running away from them, and. Uh, the whole time I started like screaming them to like go away and then the car drove by and you know I like told the car to stop and the car eventually stopped and they got in and this is the was... greatest not robbery story ever because typically that's not what goes down yeah no they didn't have that's just like some some teenagers or something oh no maybe a little what, bit older. what kind of phone are we talking about like iPhone iPhone 14 Max Pro I don't know oh, let me see this let's see this phone it's, just, the just, uh, it's phone. a second hand I don't know it's like a Samsung Galaxy X yeah. bro Come on, come on, black people. A little better. Let them yeah. get iPhone Max at least. Like, even for me, it's like second hand. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a travel phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's the phone I record everything on it. I will protect it with my life because that's my footage. Hey, 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 hey. And my footage, you know, steal yeah. my clothes, steal everything. But, but my not footage. the phone, not the phone. Well, the, the phone, oh, oh. you can steal the phone if I backed up my footage, but you know. Oh, yeah. Drop. Um, okay, do you guys have drop? You have guys have Dropbox. And like, Jimmy. everyone has Dropbox. Yeah, let's put on the cloud. You yeah, no, I don't. I, I need to get one of those. I've got like a physical hard drive. I back up it. Bro. Okay. Yeah, that's on the cloud. Yeah, <laughs> so, so from Trinidad and Tobago, yeah. where does the wind blow? What do you mean? Where I go next? Where are you going to? Yeah, where are you going to next? Uh, Venezuela, probably. Ooh, that's well, a very interesting um yeah location to choose, but um, what you would basically say is that you've seen socially displaced people in Trinidad on your journey. You've been seeing people who like homeless, sleeping on the side of yeah. the road. You've seen a lot of things. I yeah. see them everywhere, like also in Berlin and Paris. And you yeah. are a very interesting type of tourist or nation. Because the the usual tourist is gonna see what we the beach want them to see. They yeah. see the beach. They see the um. You took the deepest dive ever into Trinidad what we culture. would consider to be Caribbean, the Caribbean America. Yeah, you yeah. got you got to see the underbelly. You got to yeah. see the every pretty parts and the not the yeah. ugly parts. Yeah. So, so knowing the the knowing that you've seen some some shit, some yeah. stuff, it's been. A I'm couple, shy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shy, it, it, you know, is gonna is gonna do a lot to you, but for the most part, we are a warm loving people. Yeah, and we don't really try to dominate in spaces. Mm. But I noticed that there were a lot of times where you kind of was a little bit apprehensive of being on this journey in Trinidad. True, yeah. Yeah, social media. Oh yeah, lo- yeah. No, I exploded in like popularity. Is yeah, crazy. that was a, like, that was crazy. Like yeah. I did YouTube for like a year or so, and like Instagram for like three months, and I had like three hundred subscribers on YouTube, and uh, until, nobody like really watched me. And, until you did this. Yeah, no, yeah, and, until I did this, and you know, I, I like put some reels on Instagram, and like. <laughs> Two days later, I think three of them, and two days later, on like two people have have like followed me from Trinidad, and I was like, okay, you know, if like only two people see this, you know, I want to like at least like maybe like a hundred people to mm. follow my journey. So, mm. um, yeah, I, I like wrote like a bunch of media organizations, and nobody answered except like one one press organization, and they did like a small story in uh, one of the newspapers, and then um, locally here, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, then a friend of mine told me, hey, you should get TikTok. Everybody here uses TikTok. And I just actually re-uploaded the three videos from Instagram on TikTok. And that was mm-hmm. it. And cool like two story. days later, it's like 3,000 followers. <laughs> Five days later, it's like 10,000 followers. That's TikTok. Now, now I have like 30,000 or something. Oh, it's like boom. Viral. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, you're back, well, whom do you have the same kind of support as you get in? What do you mean? In terms of social media, like people receive your... As much as you're being received now, Do well, you get a lot I, of support from home, from I, Germany. As I told you, like I started with like nearly no followers, right? So they're really iffy in Germany. Um, well, I don't. Well, back then I wasn't like maybe as good as creating videos, or I wasn't as good as marketing. I just didn't hit with people. So like 
good chunk of my followers is like from Trinidad now that I think like maybe the algorithm promotes me like I get like also more followers from like yeah. you know now that it's kind of like a lot of people follow me there's like more people from mm. the US and like other Caribbean islands um, it's very very few from Germany at the beginning it was like mostly Germans but you know now it's just you know some of the other countries but I think at like 50% it depends on the platform but I feel mm. like a good, good chunk of it it's just Trinidadian yeah. that's amazing uh, no but look you, uh, I'd ask no mm -hmm. so look you, if it's followers the demographs no in the followers it's mostly females no, it was 50 50. 50 50? It's like you didn't get approached by no girl. It's like, oh, take me back with you. Take <laughs> what? Me with you. No, I didn't get approached. No, I mean, like, I've got you got some messages. Ah? You know? Oh, how you getting the ah? That's why I want to know. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, like, come on, I go in the freaking Amazon rainforest. Who want to go with me? Then? Yeah, you yeah, so, might be so surprised. Be surprised. In Trinidad, there's a colloquial term called the um, Laja Bless. Just be aware of who in the forest. La, di, no, la, di, la diables. La diables. What um, does it mean? It's French, right? For devil, female. So yeah. she, it's yeah. a chick. She will be in white Folklore. by the, by the um, yeah. black roadside looking to get passengers to carry them to hell, basically. Uh, okay. I'm not sure. How good well, the folklore goes that there's a lady who's been in night. But she has um, is one leg or two legs. Or two legs are yeah. hoved. She has a hoved leg, right? Yeah. And she dresses in a nice she looks pretty um, as well. yeah. dress, and she's a nice. pretty lady, but she doesn't show her face. And men who travel late at night yeah. um, get laid in. They get lured by her. Like, uh, that's like a whole vision of like a siren, yeah. mm. but like on land. Ah, okay. Yeah, so they call her La Diabless. La yeah. Diabless. La Diabless. Yeah. Yeah, so. When you're walking at night. When you're walking at night, just make sure. Yeah. Make sure she has two legs. Yeah. Okay. Sure Look down. Okay. Raise, raise your dress up. Raise your dress up. You have oh. permission from us, right? right. Not raise, Donald Trump. Not Donald Trump. Just raise your, you. raise your dress up. Just, yeah. just slightly. All right. Cool. So, um, you plan to visit this show, these shows in any capacity in a normal tourist-like way? Carnival. Or, what do you mean the shores? Carnival. Come, come, back, come, come back for Carnival. Um, any other celebrations that we have? In Trinidad, is it something that you're planning to, or are you just going to go straight across the city? Maybe. Um, um, so my travels are basically I have a rough plan, and then I put in the details. But when I arrived here, I didn't plan on walking across the island. It's just like an idea I have, uh -huh. and I also didn't like plan on like doing this like big. Just wanted to do it for myself. Maybe do like a YouTube video about it, but um, you know. Like the ideas form, I, I compared like a sculpture, you know, like an artist mm -hmm. with like the rough form and then like and then adds the details, the details later, later on, like, yeah. you know, and sometimes like changes something and, you know, I'm like, I have a rough idea of what my travel should be like, but you know, the closer I come to every single point or the next point, you know, so everything changes. So, yeah. There's no plan, but yeah. there's a plan, an there, overall plan. There is a rough plan, plan that just well, yeah. like gets shaped and yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and then go back. But yeah, and then go back home, and it was like, hey guys, I travel. The How long did it take? How long did it take to do the um, sea dress to Toko? It's sea dress to Toko, right? Yeah, Toko to Ikakas. Yeah. Oh, to oh, Toko. Yeah. How, how, how long was the actual walk? Uh, 14 days. What? Serious? For, for, yeah. 14 days of trekking, like. True. Was, it, trekking was it straight, like, straight road, or you went through? You know, some highways and byways. No, I, well, I walked mainly through like villages, like in highways. I try to avoid cities as much as possible because like there are so many people who like know me and who want to talk with me and take pictures of me. And um, well, basically, I want to like walk, you know, and like it slows you down immensely. Like mm. people don't realize that, but like if you get stopped like only ten times in like half an hour, right? And oh, oh, often it's more than that. And each each interaction takes like three minutes, right? Wow. Photos and like, oh, what's your inspiration? Whatever, here's like some food and yeah, say yeah, hi yeah, to yeah. her. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. know, it's like inspiration thing. That's yeah. Oh, yeah, ten, 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 ten times really? three is like uh, thirty, right? So half an hour becomes like one hour, and four hours walking, well, eight hours walking around, right? uh, and it just slows you down uh, like immensely. Uh. The, um, it's true that yeah, we real fast. No, we, we yeah, fast. I mean, um, was it what was uh, the English um, of fast? Be nosy. Very nosy. Yes. Yeah. Busy boy. I, guess. Busy I mean, boy. I appreciate it also. You know, I have yeah. to say that I appreciate everybody who's like interested in that and, you know, like gives me some food and some water. So I am really thankful, but you know, I... I, I have, your, you have your mission. But have you heard about the longest on foot trek you can make in the world though? Bottom of South Africa, to, all, the, all the way up, all the way up through Africa. Yeah. To, um, 
it connecting you walking through the Middle East and yeah. then nobody like the top of yeah um, Saudi Arabia yeah 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 you heard that you would yeah, ever heard you, about that. you would ever think about venturing that because that's the <laughs> ultimate one I mean that would be cool right <laughs> that's the ultimate one you know but that's like that's that's like a ton I mean I walked across Europe and that's like three thousand kilometers this was just like two hundred fifty kilometers but like the ultimate this one channel. that's takes years, years right? 15 years That's yeah it. and like the whole visa thing is gonna be like a nightmare yeah, like yeah. The logistics is gonna be a nightmare but see if you can get nike get the sponsor the kicks <laughs> nike get the sponsor your shoes yeah was he brought in germany adidas adidas, adidas. Yeah. Oh, yeah yeah adidas, adidas. yeah maybe but it's, it's still gonna be a nightmare yeah <laughs> logistics be... logistics Plus, alone. is the like polit- um, geopolitical landscape yeah going on through africa exactly middle east you're gonna um, go through some remote places like where you get food and water and like yeah especially passing through the middle in the middle of africa yeah. everywhere is in conflict yeah yeah so yeah and like yeah. how do you get like a russian russia visa for like two years or not, not maybe not a year but yeah, it's a huge part of Russia. That's yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Well, like, I don't know. We Okay, I would like... For us I mean, to go to I the mean, Europe, we, we had the Schengen, some call a Schengen visa. Yeah. So we could have... You we, can walk all over Europe if you have, like, Schengen visa. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think... Is that still a thing or... That's still a thing, yeah. Okay, well, okay. We, so we have, the, we have to get a Schengen. But we can move around. We don't usually venture to Russia. Yeah. Like, we would go... Why would we go to the we, snow? We, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, Germany, Germany would cool. hear a lot of guys go to Germany for like gills or whatever. And I, oh, I'm sure be, okay, oh, I, yeah. I've been to Germany for um, BFS. For B, what's that? Bf- October. Bf- Oct- October. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Well, we just call it BFS. Bf, so. why, why do you call it that? We call everything. Bf. Well, it is called October because yeah. it's just beers. It's like beers. Um, uh, actually, that was the private, the private industry. You no know, bars. There was a bar called um, what was it, Bowie? Shakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bar called Shakers introduced that whole Oktoberfest idea to the um the drinking public now. Mm-hmm. So we just adopt a lot of things that we see and in foreign media. There was a yeah. film called BFS. Yeah. So yeah. that was like an American film, and so we was like, yeah, BFS. Yeah. Yeah. So so we adopt a lot of things. We um we kind of like the little brother to a lot of superpowers. Yeah, yeah. So we like yeah, give it. Yeah. So we wanna yeah. always um impress. Um, a full country, <laughs> yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of natural beauty in, inside of this country, and I just wanted to tell you, um, we appreciate the fact that you get found, somehow found Trinidad, number one, and the fact that they put Trinidad on the map again, you know? Yeah. So it's always good to hear that, you know, and see that. It's 164 kilometers, it's crazy. That, that's crazy, though. That's crazy. I ain't walking enough. I'm not walking. Yeah. 250. Yeah, not 60. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a little, less, yeah. it's yeah. a little bit less than 260. You're feeling that temperature these days, yeah. dog. Oh, because yeah. people complain to just walk the, I don't know. The from, corner? Yeah, walk to the corner. Nah, it's yeah. too much walking. Here you are, see both ends of the, yeah. both ends of the spectrum. No yeah. complaints. Smile on your face. Happy guys about Different culture entirely. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But they have a story to tell the children. All right. There was okay. another podcast in Trinidad with two heroes. And we do it. We had a good show. All right. Um, I want to get into the Twilight Zone. Aha! So, you bear with us. So, we know we're going into our next um, segment. Oh. We might go into some... Advertisement? Well, we, we, you just hang on, don't worry. So press the button. Shoot. You know what this is? You know what this is? The, the nah, he's 20, dog. Oh, Twilight Zone? The thing from Twilight Zone? Nah. Oh, wow. Okay. Even if, yeah, if, you might have to go research that for yourself. Okay. Twilight Zone. Twilight when, Zone. It, when it gets internet done. It was, I think, in the 90s. Yeah. And nah. early, early 2000s. Bro, that was in the 60s. 60s. You yeah. didn't watch Twilight Zone in the 90s? In I, I saw it in the 60s. <laughs> you, you see Twilight Zone in the 60s? <laughs> I saw it in the 60s. <laughs> saw it in the 60s. <laughs> Come to Santa Cruz, mate. Yeah. Yeah, cool, cool, yeah. cool. Um, yeah, so the Twilight Zone. I see some of the real wild stuff today. Right? Like Today was... This is the moment where we give our um, accounts of the crazy shit that we see in Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. So, today I was walking down the road, right? Um, I can't say which road because it will sell out the story already. Mm. I'll stop. Mr. Mr. Someone called me out. Mr. Mm. Mr. So, immediately, we have a running joke now. When you say Mr. Mr., we know... It's like, children. Some, From... um, some underprivileged child, you know? Yeah. And so, I literally hung, well... I was like, all right, where one son? When I look back, mm-hmm. I thought it was one child. It was about six of them. Two hiding around the corner. So that's eight. 
Jeez. And a, a baby, a little baby in pampas, yeah. just literally walking idly on the street, right? So he's like, um, sir, sir, sir. He didn't say mistake. He's like, sir, sir. Um, you want to buy something for me? I must have started to drink. Or, you know what we could do, right? We could do handstand. We could do push-ups. We could do things. I was like, I don't need to do anything. Number one, why are you not in school? Yeah. Um, sir. You want to talk to my father? He up the road, right? But here, what to do? Um, I'll give you a number. He's a real slick little talker. You see that little man? Some way, somehow, you will be great. You'll be a great talker. You'll be a good little boy. But back to the story. So it gets wilder. Oh, there's more. Oh, the parents are fastly approaching. So there's a hustle in Trinidad, apparently, where people use their children hmm. to go out and snag unsuspecting passers-by hmm. to get probably food for the day water for the day, whatever the case is, I don't know. But it's wild that the parents would just allow their children to just vent out in the street to speak to strangers, I don't know. Like, we could do better than that, you know, please. It, out here, not safe for the kids on them, though. You get a lot of that? You see that on your, on your travels? Mm, not that much, no. People, normally, I, I was in the villages. It's mostly oh, yeah, city. Right. Yeah, 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 nah, yeah. but... It, <laughs> I can't tell you anybody, please, because... Oh, okay. It's true, I love. Yeah, did you see um, any Amerindians? Like, we know how that is. What's Amerindians? Um, that would be our version <laughs> of, like, Native Americans. Amer- Amer- or, like, Native Americans. Indigenous people. Indigenous. Yeah, yeah, I had, like, one indigenous artist who slept, like, a night. And I saw some Varel, but they're in, like, Ikakas. Some, ah. some, somewhere? But, in Ikakas, the like there's like refugees from Venezuela. Uh, oh no, like, no, 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 not that indigenous, not not those indigenous people. No, like like we, we had indigenous historical. people before Columbus. Yeah, no, I know, yeah, I know, yeah, I know, yeah. I know. I one like as I said, one woman who's like an artist where slept, she's indigenous. Artists are the best, huh? anyway. And she was living in a remote area, so. Well, no, she was on a small. I don't know. Do you have like still indigenous people who live like remote and live off the land? I mean, that's remote for you, remote for you, and remote for us might be two that's different. That's why I'm uh, asking. Okay. I'm trying to look for these yeah, people. Yeah, because I, I'm looking for these people. We yeah. we do really know that there is a thriving indigenous yeah, community. Indigenous community. And I don't even know that it, that it exists. You know, I don't have a clue. There are um, several tribes actually. Like, ca- ca- you, yeah. met, you met some caciques? No, no, no. I just met that's like. Chief. One woman, but she told me that there's like several tribes and they aren't really unified and you know they're like struggling but, to but, get like yeah stuff like political power and get like their own memorial day and every country is the same and like corruption and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but these tribes people, these tribes people live in the city and they live modern lives. Yeah. But yeah, they t- try to tie themselves back to the past, which is something that we should respect more. Yeah, uh, you know. No. Okay. Yeah, there were a lot of indigenous people that would get any respect to you. Off camera, remember before we started, he was like, hey, if you know... What the hell? What? Yeah, off, right. off camera, <laughs> he was like, yeah, Ronnie. Really. Off camera, he was like, well, if you know gang members, um, you should... You know gang members? No, no, if you know gang members, you should talk to them and try to... And I was trying to... I was waiting for the show for me to explain this thing. Yeah. If, let's say I am affiliated with... Okay, this is two gangs. Okay. Two gangs. How to do it for the just at the camera. Yeah. So these two gangs. I am for some reason no Soka Baby mm. and Blue Cap. So this is right. Soka Baby and Blue Cap. I am affiliated with somebody with Soka Baby. Blue Cap would be like, you are Soka Baby affiliate. I have the potential of dying. Mm. This is why if I know someone, not that I do, I wouldn't try to like engage, at least me. Because it, 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 the murder situation, in terms of whatever various groups it have or whatever, yeah. it, it gets deadly. Like how oh, you said you're not accustomed to seeing you like the deadliest thing that you saw is the guy without license. Yeah. As opposed to here is the deadliest thing we yeah, might no, see. They kill. Yeah, you yeah. might die. Yeah. So it isn't the juice isn't with the squeeze in terms of that. You understand? So they would kill you just for affiliating with one of the gangs? Uh, no. Alright. Maybe if you come to Trinidad and you affiliate with one of the gangs. Yeah. It's much easier to it's maneuver. Like a, you as a foreigner. As yes. a foreigner. Yes. Okay. Me. But as a local now. Yeah. It might be okay, you know. Mm. It might go to one community and everybody will be like, yeah, it's love. But what about the people who say you need to draw a line in the sun and choose a side? Right. Yeah? Yeah, how to choose a side between so, Soka baby and uh, blue cap. And if you don't choose the side now, that's where 
you'll be in test yeah, you'll, you'll get so, it, so you're if you're games. really not in like I, I could safely say I'm not in that life mm-hmm. I'm, not a, I'm not a criminal so if I'm not in it I give them a wide boot mm-hmm. you know everybody needs to feed their children at the end of the day but you had to understand that this problem is not they didn't start the issue mm-hmm. this issue started because there's an authority in place that allow them to be this way yeah so we could address that on a whole different topic um, I understand where they're coming from. People hungry. People need yeah. amenities. People need help. Um, but they also need to help themselves. You know? Yeah. So, okay. Um, yeah. And then the second part now of my question would be, what people assume is, what people assume is mm-hmm. that once um, foreigners, especially Caucasians or whoever, come in the country and they do like tracks like what you're doing or... People who go into areas that they're working for some intelligence agency. And I was, <laughs> yeah, so I was like, is this guy? Uh, I, so I had to ask the question. Yeah, just for I, the record. Am I in the CIA? Uh, you know, not CIA, but German intelligence, German French intelligence. intelligence. <laughs> yeah, speaking French, very fluent. Yeah, the man, the man oh, is yeah. a multilinguist. So I had to ask. Uh, I'm, I'm not an LA intelligence you, you just, whatever. I'm just a random guy who wanted to walk across the country and then did it because remember he was like because he was like oh you know anybody in thing and i was like i wonder i have to ask for the public record because then everybody be like why you never ask him now why didn't ask him now no nah. okay no nah, no nah. see guys not everybody's a spook Trinidadians are, okay so if it's one thing we are we know he has hell and conspiracy yeah. theories. And we love conspiracies. Uh, okay. We love to make up things that never happen. <laughs> you so know, no, so. no, boy, I see him here. Yeah. He walk into the embassy yeah. and... Boy, that man now take a taxi and jump over the embassy, but he walk in and all kind of madness. You know, people yeah. will try to to get some sensationalism out yeah. of a, the, yeah. a rise but of the situation. But you just trying to do like this pilgrimage and it had nothing to do. You was yeah. like, you know what? Let uh, the uh, people do it, you know. Yeah. So, so. in... True, he hostile. Yeah. All right, we don't really try to bring too much um, politics into the show. Yeah, yeah, but I think that this backpacking, um, it was a lifestyle pilgrimage. Somewhat, this sort no. of a lifestyle. Yeah. it's something that could help a lot of young men. You know, help yeah. help a lot of young and men finding themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe not backpacking, but like walking or like a pilgrimage, I think, um, would help people. I wouldn't Explain say like... the difference. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the back pilgrimage is just basically you take a backpack, uh, you take a food and you t- take some water. Well, I didn't without water, but basically just walk from one point to the other point. Oh, like Jesus. Yeah, something like that. I think it really helps Man, a lot like of people. Jesus did, yes. You know, if you, if you have, like, just a backpack and, like, the bare necessities and you walk for, like, a few days on end and no social media, right? Nothing. Just just walk and it's just you and your thoughts. And, like, everything else after, like, a day or so becomes unimportant other than, like, where do I sleep? What do I eat? Like, the so bare necessities. Like, exactly. Exactly. And on top of that, like, you are alone with your thoughts. You kind of reflect about something. And nothing is happening, right? The, the world isn't, like, going over. Like, you're just... In the middle of nowhere, nothing, just nothing changes. You know, the world's so peace. Peace. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a peace. And I think that's like something really good for uh, mental health. Oh, shit. No, is that, yeah, because I could see how that level of freedom, that level of... Did you use a map or you just went... I had a map. No, I had a rough map. Yeah. All right. So oh, you, like, oh, so you know cartography. Um, no, I had a map on my phone. Ah. <laughs> Not Google Maps, but like a special hiking app. Oh, okay, okay. Like, say you know we have yeah, routes and routes and distances and oh yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah all right cool well i mean trinidad is not that much of a challenge for you but some certain things are certain it's different uh, okay yeah what was the hardest part i was not gonna ask oh. that i was pause. not gonna ask pause yeah. hey yo um yeah. what you was gonna do about that what did you do about the mosquitoes uh get bitten <laughs> oh well, so you just take that you just take that dengue Let's take that. No, well, right I, I, I had like a mosquito net for my my uh, my my head, and I tried to like sleep indoors as much as, much as I can and uh, avoid them, and try to use like fans. 
as much as I can, but if I didn't, I'd just get bitten, you know? I'd like, some days I just, my hands are just covered in mosquito bites, you know? You just get used to it. And the, tri the tribal lady didn't tell you, like, there's literally some kind of bushes drink, like, um, like you can it with, heat it with water. It's like, I kind of tea you drink that, that's bitter your blood for mosquitoes so they don't bite you. She, like, I forgot what it's called, but it's, what? there's... I have never heard of that. Like, I, I think no that you idea. drink, like, some bush this remedy one. thing that you just drink, it bitters your blood, yeah. and you good. Which is why uh, natives don't get bitten by mosquitoes. Uh, why, do, why doesn't it ever do, everybody do this? Because, uh, that's Listen, what, yeah, we this have one. bug spray, we have citronella, yeah. we have off, odomos, yeah. we have the list. So, there's no need to go back to... Yeah. The um the indigenous roots so, now. I don't know. I need to try that. I need to try that. Uh, no, I'm, yeah, citronella works though. Citrinella. Well, I mean, if I don't know what it is, I could like. Uh, yeah, I, I am not making this up. I've been hearing about this. I don't. I've never drank it, but it is bitter to the taste apparently, and it bitters your blood. Well, to mosquitoes. So they, they just stay away from you. I should try that. Yeah. Me personally, the you, more you know. If you if you ask if you ask him, my biggest ick, <laughs> my biggest pet peeve yes. is the you know the. <laughs> You know the noise yeah, they make? Yeah, it's, it's hard to go to I, sleep. Exactly. Yeah. I cannot sleep with it at all. So you in the, yeah. in the, in the what is called the... So the mosquitoes was the hardest part? No, no. Yeah. I think the hardest part is maybe like the popularity. Mm. <laughs> like it sounds weird. Start taking away from your thoughts. <laughs> like nobody... Yeah, it's like... I, I, I've, I've not been used to that. Yeah. Never. Like I've never been on TV or television or podcast. My first podcast. Hey, guys. <laughs> yeah. Got the premiere. <laughs> um, oh that's God. what we try to do here and at Hee Haw. Yeah, normally I'm just on my own like the whole time. And right. Normally it's like nearly nobody's watching. Like I would do a YouTube video and like a few guys like see this and I comment. But like all of a sudden I have like thousands of people who follow me on social media and everywhere I walk car stop people take photos yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for real for real and like yeah, everybody takes a little, has a question and want to ask me something and it's so crazy and imagine that I need to get used to that what, yeah. so the wild was the wildest question like, that you got the wildest was just like oh uh, what know, wildest question Everybody just asked like the same two questions, like how has your walk been? And especially now, like what do you answer that? Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's long. It's, it's a long like, walk. What's your inspiration? You know, those are like basically the most common questions. I don't know, wild questions. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Know. Well, I have my wild question. Was yeah. the wildest thought that went through your mind during your meditative process? So it, if you don't mind, the I wildest imagine. thought. So you remember you said it was somewhat meditative, med meditate, meditative to do the walk because you're alone with your thoughts. Yeah. So it was like the wildest thought that entered your mind. I was like, hey, that's interesting. Where the hell that come from? Well, uh, basically, well, there's the, the, on, on this walk, I didn't have too much quiet because like oh, you're damn. always constantly thinking of everything. Because first of all, I was like documenting each day on social media. So you need to think like, what am I going to film on social media? Where am I going to go sleep? Like you need to like regularly call like TV and television. And uh, y you know, it's like lots of things going on, right? Mm -hmm. And you need to plan. And, um, but like back in the day, I think like the wildest thought is just like doing this, what I do right now. Just like hitchhike to the Amazon rainforest without money, without taking planes and live in the Amazon rainforest. Yeah, that, that uh, maybe that might be like one of the wildest ideas and now I'm doing it. And oh, you're yeah, one step, you're one step to, yeah, cool. You get yeah. to live the dream. How much experience you have with wildlife? Uh, with, uh, uh, here, nothing. Like. Mm. In the, I know how to survive in the German forest. I know like the, the plants, I know the animals, I know how everything works. But here, I still need to learn it. But I'm about to learn it. You know, yeah. I, I, I'm working. I mean, we, we are the closest thing to the, the Amazon, if yeah. you want to consider a biome, you know. Yeah. But um, Amazon is a whole different beast. No, yeah, I know. Jack. Yeah. We, we just our biggest one. cat is um, yeah. the ocelot. ocelot. So, yeah. And ocelots typically don't attack humans. Yeah, jaguars typically don't attack humans no, either. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like yeah. diseases kill you, yeah. and everything looks the same. And your map doesn't work because you don't have connection, and like you so just it got light fires. Yeah, yeah. It got light fires in your report. No, no, it's no. too wet. It's raining all the time. Damn. Yeah, that's oh, really? You need like some really high percentage like fuel to yeah. like make a. 
you can't make fires. So what was this? What is your survival tactic in the Amazon? Yeah, because yeah. Well, to... I need to. I won't like go alone there. Like, want to live like one of one of the communities who like lives like fairly remote. I still need to figure that out. This is like yeah. the idea, ah, you know, yeah. like one yeah. step at a time, you know, like. Get a get a wife the wife one of the locals. What you need to do is just go into one of the village, wife them, and be like, okay, let's get married, and then we, you know, yeah, you'll show me, and then I'll train you on like first well, world country things. Not and really. Then, I don't plan to get married or anything. I just oh, okay. you know want to see the jungle. Oh, you, I wouldn't, but I mean, kudos to you. Is, <laughs> is, is okay. Is social media like a big thing? In Germany, in from a small um, village, like you said, a yeah. rural village. Is it like like oh everybody's on their phones, on their phones here, and they're just like uh, stuck to their phones? No I, I, I guess so. Yeah, I mean I th- it's the same in Germany as it is here. Maybe yeah. yeah. I think not Germany TikTok though. It's more like Instagram or YouTube. But social media is just, isn't it like a big thing everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Well, social. we don't have Facebook, right? Nobody uses Facebook, but just you know, like you're twenty. That's why. Right. Yeah, we're yeah. twenty. Yeah. Like, we still, it's I still forget. Yeah, he's twenty. Young, yeah. young kid. Yeah. As a young, as almost. Anyway, we've been contagious, right? Yeah, now. we know what. Yeah, we've we passed that bracket. <laughs> How, How old are you guys? At oh, 35. 35. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. it's a little bit older. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a little bit. Just a little bit over. Yeah. But um, I was going to get to the point where it was be a, it's going to be something advantage just to young men to not just walk, but do something difficult. Do something yeah, that will take you out of your comfort zone, you know? Yeah. There's a lot to be learned in that area of discomfort Yeah. about yourself, you know? Uh-huh. So putting, putting that into perspective... We don't really have a, a, a I've, I've never seen a Trinidadian decide to say I'm going to break free. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm gonna find what I am looking for. Yeah. Maybe it happens. We could call that brain drain. Yeah. <laughs> but in terms of <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. That's that's how it goes. All right? But in terms of the cult you're being, you feeling trapped as a young man. You know there's more in the world. You know that there's a bigger world out there. Yeah. How you achieve that understanding of yourself in this oh this this also big world, you know. So glad you found it and you're on your journey. Well yeah, he's on the journey. He yeah. Find it. No way. Yeah. The, the it he's looking for is the peace the peace that has come from the yeah. the the being with yourself. Yeah. You know. And what I got there in is that you don't really like people disturbing you. Well, I don't mind it, you know, it's not like I hate it, but it's just sometimes well, people don't understand and people say like, yeah, you're ungrateful and all those things, but it's like just a lot, a lot, you know, yeah, like. Yeah. It wasn't ready for fame. It was not yeah, about fame. Yeah, no, like. Yeah. Maybe it's a test. Yeah. All the time I was just like me and alone. Like I'm alone most of my journey, right? Just I'm alone, sleeping alone somewhere outside, like finding food on my own. I like for a month and month, I'm like on my own, just nobody <laughs> wow. there, like. You know, on the ocean, of course, I'm with captains and sometimes there are other people, but, you know, it's mostly just me, you know. Sounds like a and dream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like solitude is, seems awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden now, it's like everybody who I meet just, or not everybody, but like a lot yeah, of people. Vast majority. Like, mm-hmm. Talk to me here and uh, it's just like, you need to get used to that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, in some ways, it's just probably are just a challenge for you to overcome. Yeah, yeah. No, there are worse things than that. Yeah. I mean, it, there's a lot of worse things. There's some. Yeah. yeah, like we need to make mention of what's taking place in Haiti earlier. In any which we could support, we need to because no, this is a very serious way, right? thing that we're talking about. Um, when you said a lot worse things goes on in the society, mm. social media is one part of it, but we don't really see what's happening in reality. Mm. Um, about well. A, a pilgrimage. What do you call yourself? Or what, what would you like to call yourself? I don't know. I just whatever. I have a Walker. Um, Walker German Ranger. Backpacker, YouTuber, Happy influencer, Universal. hitchhiker. I don't know. You might call me a bartender because I work like the money I, I have for this is like bartending or like working in factories or like a trash man or Picking up trash, you know. Or it's operative uh, CIA, Central Intelligence. Uh, not, not, that, not, not really, no. Okay, that's true. You see how uh, they that? probably would pay a lot, but, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, 
I don't really know what I am. <laughs> but I mean, in Germany, Just something in Germany is fabled or is is well known to be the vocational um, mecca of the world. You know where a lot of engineering um, prestige is held in Germany. You know, and how come I didn't decide to go into that route? Like study, like studying, yeah, in in German. Vocation. Yeah, no, no, no. I could, I could. Like, I, I had actually pretty good grades. You know, I could basically study whatever I want. I could like become like a doctor, lawyer, psychologist, whatever. Like, when you're ready. Mo- yeah. Most of my friends did that, but I didn't really want to do that. You know. <laughs> yeah, no. I decided to just like have no money and walk across the world. Yeah, that's you know? what we're trying to get. Out this the way. is like, what just, is it? Just decide to go. Because it's not like some stoic, like like stoic, stoic shit. It's yeah, like very yeah. stoic. Yeah. No, I mean, like you need to think about like what what do you want to do with your life, right? Like you only have like one life. You know, what is something you enjoy with your life? Like I don't really have a draw of money. You know, money doesn't really like get to me. You know. Mm. I mean, you make a lot of money if you do these jobs. Like, if you do it for a passion, you know, that that's good. You know, if you really love doing those jobs. But I don't really have, like, a passion for doing that, right? Mm. I, I want to do what I do right now. Like, maybe I can, if everything doesn't work out and it's really bad, I somehow come back to Germany and I study then. But, yeah. yeah, this is just what I want to, to do with my life. It's No. Yeah. We know it, it way more productive. I mean, it's very Eastern philosophy-esque. I'll oh, say that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not it's, Western. It's, 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 it's very anti capitalist. It's like, yeah. yeah. You're trying to be walk and walk the path of the sage, basically. I mean, you might like the, give me a little bit too much credit the here. The sagacity of it. I yes. mean, how, how many times have you been tempted to stop and go back home? Not really. Never. <laughs> not really, no. Uh, like, I don't know. I don't really want to go home. This is what I want to do. Like, they were hard times. They were really hard times, you know. Um, but, you know, you just kind of get through them, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. like Persevere. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. You have, like, a very good reason for doing so. And, you know, there isn't, like, there is a way back if you really want to. But even, like, the way back, you know, once you really deep into that, it's, it's, you know. And sort of like you feel, feel yourself. When you give up. It's, like it's very hard to fail, you know? It's not like, yeah. you know, like, it's not like if you don't want to eat chips and you have like, chips right next to you and you just eat the chips, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. like booking a flight ticket to Germany. Oh, my God. that, that Mentally, I wouldn't. Huh. I would, yeah, you know, and then imagine. sitting in the airport and knowing that you just fail, this would be, no, I couldn't do that, you so, know? So in terms of fitness, of fitness, health, yeah. health fitness, because mm-hmm. obviously you're doing yeah. something which is, I'm not sure, is it like very taxing on the body? Like the length of, Distance, you have to do manual walking. A um, little bit. And then you would need to have enough calories to sustain um, body mass so you don't dry up, you have to eat. So what would you yeah. say is the, like, the, I want to say startup pack. If you want the pilgrimage startup pack, if you have to yeah. do, like, you have to eat this every day, you'll be good. Well, what? basically, you know, I, I think everybody could do that. What I do, not everybody, but you don't really need a lot, like, calorie, like, I don't know if you if you're like super thin and you have like seven percent body fat, you know, like I'm talking about me. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I mean I lost a little bit of weight, but you know I don't know. You, you yeah. don't need to. Like, I think most people could do that. It's not. It's not about stamina because you you came down for mango season, so it was like, what was your yeah. daily like mainly the main thing you eat down here was. Uh, I don't know. Whatever people gave me. <laughs> oh, well, it wasn't like yeah. Oh, today just I doubles. Today I eat kind them. of snacks. I don't know. Like all kinds of different foods people gave me. Like yeah, I don't know what I ate. I ate like that's some fish in the like coastal regions and some mm. I don't know whatever I got somewhere some KFC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Someone is, invented it. Is it KFC? Do you, do you like the KFC down there? Yeah? yeah, I like it. I like it. As a compared to I don't know. I, I've, I've only anyway. been in KFC once in, in like Europe. Not oh. really a KFC guy. Oh. A McDonald's guy. I just normally I eat very simple things, you know. Because no, the, the reason I'm asking is our KFC apparently is like the world's greatest KFC. Oh, right? maybe. Okay, then I wouldn't want to say anything against it. It might be true. Yeah, it might be the world's best. That's a good no, KFC. No, that, no, that's what people say. So yeah, like, I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't judge if that's true. It's, it's like our KFC tastes different from American KFC. It tastes different from Barbados. Our KFC maybe, maybe. Quote, unquote. Maybe, KFC. yeah. So, I don't know. It's on purpose. Like, except change the taste. 
the region. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just the ingredients that we have in regions. That's what's given the... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'm it's the K- passion. I'm not a KFC guy. There was I'm a time KFC. KFC decided to bring out a curry fried chicken dog. That was the worst thing ever. It was the absolute worst thing I ever ate us. No, well, no, I just stopped there. So it was burning your nostrils and thing when he was yeah, biting it. I think that was crazy. Yeah. So You've got some hot stuff here, Adrian. Oh yeah, God. that's the that's the like I really need to get used to that. Spicy food. Yeah, they um, say it's not spicy in the region. It's super so, spicy. Like oh my God. Um, yeah. cur- curry curries. You you're not accustomed to curry. curry yeah, not the spicy stuff. Oh my God. Um, no. What else do we have? Uh, that would be spicy. Well, of course, pepper. 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 I mean, pepper. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else do you have? That's not isn't like every, everything. Like most is spicy. dishes is dishes like. There is at least most dishes they put spice on that, like pepper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but uh, yeah. it's pretty good for your immune system, believe it or not. I did not know. Yeah, this. So, maybe. So okay. you, you would not get sick eating pepper every day. You would literally eat, like, mm. it's yeah. like high in vitamin C. Consume them Scoville's, like. Yeah. Nice. So we had, like, yeah, Trinidad had, like, the highest, um, the, the highest school the, pepper. Now, nah, well, um, I think they, over, yes, yeah. uh, we had like number one. And then the scorpion pepper. Scorpion pepper. Yeah, yeah, yeah the hottest pepper, yeah. And then um, the Americans they, came in. They, they genetically modified uh, yeah. pepper. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, trying to be the best. Yeah. yeah, I heard about that. I'm not eating that pepper. Uh, no. <laughs> they call it Carolina Reaper. Yeah, yeah I, for, I forgot about it. I'm not eating that either. Why would um, you eat it? Because I'm not. I to, for me to eat it would be unpatriotic. See, people, <laughs> people walk around and giving pipers yeah. um, hot chips and things. Oh, they yeah. eat that? No, well, all right. So, uh, you know what a piper is, right? What? A, a piper is a sort of like a homeless man. But on yeah. uh, he's on drugs. Mm. Yeah, like, no, I know. Yeah, no, I know what it was a piper. It's called yeah. Sprangers, pipers. Yeah. yeah. Um, they eat peppers? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, the pipers or the sprangers in the community tend to be the superheroes, the people who. Have, have the best immune systems. They're always in shape. Uh, they, they live a very long time. Quite uh, long. Really? Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A very long time. Wait, and there's other people who take the drugs. Who do crack cocaine? You know crack? Yeah. Like, smoke from your pipe? Yeah. Bubble, bubble. Yeah. yeah. The they, people who do crack regularly are the people who live the longest. I wouldn't say li- <laughs> that's all, that, uh, Okay, that's, it's a little bit wild to say they live the longest. But they but live when a you, long time. You tend to see them in a period of time. Yeah. And in that period of time, it tends to be like, but this man around forever, boy. I've okay, like everybody has their neighborhood guy, and yeah. I know my neighborhood guy since I'm like in primary school, yeah. all the way up to as an adult. He died recently. Oh yeah. In terms of I'm an adult, yeah. And I'm like, and well, I talked to my parents. I was like, yeah, he doing this as he's as he's like 15. But somehow, oh, yeah. maybe exclude the drugs from it because it's a difficult world to yeah. live in it. Maybe if you choose to go. <laughs> On a pilgrimage, a spiritual journey, mm-hmm. yeah, you're, you're kind of mentally prepared to deal with hardships. So whatever's thrown your way, you could be like, "I'm gonna persevere." Yeah, yeah, when, no. When you True. end up in this because you have no other choice, the drugs might seem like a a way out. Yeah, it never is. But these people yeah. are sometimes the smartest people that you could ever yeah speak with, and yeah. sometimes the most genuine people. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. the yeah, some of the most interesting stories is just they gripped by circumstances, yeah. no. You know, so hardship really forms you sometimes. Yeah, yeah, hardship forms you sometimes. It's break you sometimes. It's, it's, yeah. We we can't really um, gauge how much hardship we could take. Yeah. But the pipers on them that we talking about, they would be they, they would do some of the most incredible feats. And they yeah. would have like they'll come from a decent in terms of they would have a background in something which would be like yeah this person was an engineer. Yeah, yeah. They but tend to they tend to be chemical a bit engineer more, and a bit they're smarter. very. So I don't know. So why are they on the streets like crack cocaine crack. is a hell of a oh, drug, yeah. according to Rick James? You know Rick shit. James? Nah. You know Dave Chappelle? Yeah. Okay, oh, you had a skit with Rick James. Okay. And Rick James is is, is a lifestyle, right? No, uh, Rick James died. Yeah. Okay, but like okay. when when he was doing this skit, um, the sketch on Rick James, yeah. Rick James was like cocaine is a hell of a drug. Mm. He did not lie. It's mm. like no, nah, it's I don't want to you know get yeah. into that. Mm. No, okay. yeah, so that. Maybe the, the lifestyle they live. Yeah. Maybe it's because they tend to have to deal with so much harder things on a daily basis. They tend to be the happiest yeah. people that we, we always see smile. A piper always smiling. You're always happy. You're always willing to help. You grew up in a different area. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're always willing to help. They're always willing to help. They're always trying to, always trying to be good people because at the end of the day, they probably deal with so much hardships on a daily basis. So, yeah, maybe. Ah, well, ah, well, okay. I have my question. 
So if it was on your pilgrimage, you know, it was on your, tw- um, you said 100, no. In Germany. No, like here, here, here. Like is, here, walking is, across. It's 14 days. Yes. Somebody was like, oh, you want food? Well, you already saw it over today. Uh, oh, no. you, you, you want food? Well, here what? You had to clean my yard. Yeah. Oh, um, you had to clean, you had to do some housework. Yeah. Oh, would you have like, okay, I'll help you pay for the day and I'll get lunch? I do it. Sorry, like if, if someone would offer that to me. Right, so you guys remember you was going around having to figure out. Yeah, well. Oh. Yeah. No, I mean like my first, my, my first intention was to do that, right? Ah. My first intention, like through the popularity, I didn't have to do that. It's like the other way around. But my first like thought, you know, I wanted to walk with no money and something. It's just like to ask like restaurants, hey, can I clean like your dishes, help you clean dishes in the end. And like maybe you take some home, like some leftovers or something like that. Um, um, that is very honorable. That was like, yeah, I want to like do something like that. You know, like someone who has like a big garden with several fruits, like can I take some of those or, you know, s- stuff like that. Um, the thing is like I got kind of popular. So a Damn. lot of the time like cars go by and they just stop and give me food. And it got so, got so much that uh, I couldn't carry all the food. So I had to give, uh, you know, I have to refuse the food. Sometimes I just gave people food back because sometimes people just insisted on giving me food because they want to help me that bad. Mm. And uh, yeah, then other cars would stop and I would just give them randomly food. Like here, get some snacks. <laughs> I mean, um, so I didn't have that problem, but I definitely, I, uh, 100%, I would like clean someone's garden. Like if I didn't have, you know, if, there weren't so many people who like giving me food. I have, of course, I would clean someone's yeah. garden for like food. That's, oh, of yeah. course, yeah. yeah. Um, so, and you wasn't doing this any flip flops, right? You was doing this walk in, in, in like boots. Yeah. Uh, boots? Yeah, yeah, boots. That's boot. Yeah, no, uh, I like there. Are, I didn't have the best shoes for that, but it's because I want to go in like the jungle and I needed some jungle boots and uh-huh. I don't have like space. I don't want to like buy boots, uh, buy shoes and then throw them away because I have like limited space in my backpack. So I need to be like very selective. So I just walked mm-hmm. in boots. They're better shoes. And I've got like some blisters from that, but you know, whatever. Jeez. You know. Uh, um, and like how much, how much these with uh, clothes? Like uh, clothes. Like how, you, how did you wash the clothes and cycle? Like how much clothes did you buy new clothes? No, no, I, I, I like one pair of clothes and I washed it at like certain places. Like, for example, depending on where I stayed, you know, but mm. like the Hindu temple, they were really nice. You know, they just gave me some like, I don't know, sweater or like some, some, some trousers and they washed my clothes in the evening and hang it up. And Jenny in the morning I, I could have some nice clothes. I like the, um, I stayed in the mosque and they did the same thing or, you know, depending on where I stay, like people allowed me to wash my clothes there. So okay. that's how I wash my clothes. And also the same thing with like showering. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Because, okay, it's because of tough guys. <laughs> Yeah, Please don't, don't go crazy now. Tough guys, right? Yeah. Like, I know that would have, like, their whole... They'll be in the Georgie bundle. We call it a Georgie bundle. Yeah. So, like, let's say they break up with their wife or their girlfriend. Yeah. So, they have, like, their life in our backpack. Yeah. But they, they have their 14 pairs of sneakers still in the backpack. <laughs> and, like, yeah. they, don't, they don't know where they are going to stay. Yeah. Just yet. So, it's like, you found it easy to have, like... Very minimal. You lived a very minimalist lifestyle and yeah. it functioned. However, the abundance of um, modern luxuries. Yeah. God. That's Damn. you, man. Yeah, yeah. He is. The coconut water gets you drunk. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. The, mod- the modern luxuries now kind of holds you back. Kind of holds you back from um, advancing, I guess, spiritually. Because would you say that you've grown at least a bit spiritually throughout all of this ah uh, maybe i'm not really i i grow like as a person i'm not that spiritual i mean i you somewhat get religious um oh no i don't mean religion religiously yeah. i mean like into probably mentally grown mentally that's probably yeah what no I mean. no I, I think yeah of course like everything that happens to you like you you grow from it i mean depending on how you deal with it but i try to like grow from everything and um, yeah, I've grown a lot from a lot of like hardships and challenges and you know, so all this trip or like prior before They're all the time, you know, before now, you know, I, I get, I don't, I sleep on the ground, you know, I have no problem with that. <laughs> I don't like sleeping on mattresses. I think I slept like once on a mattress, maybe twice on this journey. And before that, the, the three, four months before that, I've never slept on a mattress right now. I still like sleep in like a small tent. You know, outside. Okay. Uh, this is, this I is, don't care. I this, could sleep inside, by the way, in a bed. You know, I know. This is where you're but, supposed to get the advertisement for gear brand and let them sponsor you. This tent. 
Like, yeah. I call, okay, so what brand are we talking about? Cold Mountains? What was he? What's he brand? Um, it's, I think it's called Can- Caravan or something. It's like a small, like one oh. person mm. tent. Yeah, but it's not really. It, it, it's a bivouac tent, so it's like very small and it's like dark olive green, so it's very stealthy. So oh, basically, no you can set it up anywhere next to like a bar, b- bush in the evening, and nobody will really see it. You know, it's like very. You basically lay on the. It's basically like a sack, a green sack with like two. Oh no, I know. For like the, the I head. know. I one I, I have. Yeah. Once a year, I have to go seven days and live in a tent. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's just like very small on the ground, so it's very stealthy. You know. Yeah. You don't want people to small see. Small footprint. It. Yeah, and. Um, I don't know what what was your question again. <laughs> no, I said if you get to grow, if you get to grow but mentally, yeah, yeah, I mean, hatches, and then he was like, um, we're talking about like, let's see, was he brand? Yeah, maybe they, I have they might sponsor sponsor me, but yeah. like the thing is, like, I'm not sure if I actually go that because sometimes you get desperate and you give in. But my goal is I wanna not make money with YouTube or like a social media. Like, I like eventually when I can make money, you know, like from like uh, on YouTube. I'm I'm not monetized yet, but eventually when I go monetized, I probably will take it and put like on a separate account. Um, but I don't want to like fund my journey through this. I oh, want to fund no, my journey. No, um, I don't I don't want to make money from social media through for, for my journey. What my fund on my journey through like manual work right yeah, yeah. Um, you don't want it to stop the um actual process of what you're trying to do here you want to do that are you sweating your brows sweating your hands yeah no I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if i'm gonna take like sponsors you know i, I just wanna you know i just wanna fund myself through like actual like physical work yeah. you know yeah. yeah yeah that's my idea by the sweat of your bro yeah yeah that's basically that's be that honorable. I mean, it's very um. Well, I, I try, I try. Heinrich and Broomhilda, basically. Wow, that was a uh, apt. Oh, you, you, you come on, you come. No, I read, I've been reading. I've been reading. I've been reading. I've been reading. Heinrich and Broomhilda, you say no. So okay, um, okay. is he? You need to shut up. You need to shut the hell up. Is it? Yeah, it's 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 wild. Anyway, okay, so okay, um, what about in terms of literature? Um, yeah. Do you are you a half reader? What's what's the what's the thing when you go back to civilization? I guess yeah. prior would have been the would it, would it have just been films or are you a reader? Oh, I love books! Oh my god, there's so many good books. You guys know Tim Ferriss? No, okay. heard of him. Okay, yeah, wow. he has some like good books. To learn from he's like self development book. He has interesting books. Uh, you know the book Seven Years in Tibet. Seven years in Tibet. 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 Seven years in Tibet. Tibet. No, I've never heard of never that. Never heard of that. Like, I like adventure books or, uh, you know, endurance. Like, I really don't read adventure books. I read more biological, scientific books. Yeah. Yeah. No, more, it's like, um, it's like true biographies, right? But mm. like, biographies are like really insane. Like, seven years in Tibet is just like a guy back in the day when there's nobody in Tibet. It's like a closed off country where the Dalai Lama is still like the god yeah. thing and everybody. It's like a huge country and just like, he lived seven years in Tibet. He's like one of the first white guys to only enter the country. And then he becomes friends with the Dalai Lama and stuff like that, you know? And it's real, right? It actually happened. Like, so. And it's, it's like crazy adventure stories like that. It's just, That's you know, it, it makes me think about what's actually happening. Um, what's actually possible, you know? Like yeah. what other people did, you know? If this guy had social media, you know, he would be like everywhere. Like, you know, there's this huge country who's like closed off, nobody can go and there is the God King. Everybody like boy, worships this God King and this white guy just goes inside there and- Be friends, you know, everybody. He, 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 must be nice. He's the personal teacher of this <laughs> God King now. It's, you know, um, and, and stuff like that really inspires me. Mm. And like there are several others, like uh, the Lost City of Z. You ever heard of that? I have only read uh, Adventure, probably Harry Potter. Yeah, okay. yeah that's, oh, that's no, no, the no. furthest adventure no, I read. I, I, um, I, I, I read books on I'm animals. Trying, I'm trying to go through like the only classic books I was supposed to be reading. Yeah. So right now I'm reading, um, Jesus Christ, Count of Monte Cristo. Count of Monte Cristo, all right. So yeah, I've not, heard of that. Yeah. Right, yeah. so. I haven't read that. Yeah, so I do in Count of Monte Cristo. Three Musketeers. Um, so I don't into the, what, what do we call it? Nonfiction. Mm-hmm. For some reason, I don't like nonfiction reading. I can just watch a YouTube video. But in terms of reading, it has to be yeah. fake. The grasp. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, imagination. 
Yeah, yeah. She should try. Crime, you know? on, crime and Punishment. I want to read the um, Crime and Punishment. Oh, yeah, that's, I wanted to read this too. Dostoevsky. Yeah, be, right? uh, I, want, I want to read Dostoevsky too. Yeah, the, so, like, the so, Russian so, greets, that kind of stuff. So, you're yeah, into a lot of stoic literature? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I like to, like, uh, I don't really read for fun. Mm. Or I like I read for fun, but I want to like improve myself while doing so, right? Mm. Or like learn something from that. Meditations, Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius. Really no, I haven't read that. But I want to read that. It's like on my to-do list. I like I want to read a lot of things. That's like huge list of books. Yeah. Or whatever. Really? I don't know. I want to read the um, on my to-do list to read uh, all the books of like the world religions, like uh, Bhagavad Bible, Gita. the Quran. Bhagavad Gita, exactly, yeah, the Torah, yeah, yeah, yeah. the. Quran. Um. I don't even know how the Buddhist thing is called, but you know the Buddhist yeah. writings. There's the like yeah. a the, 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 the Tao Ching. You can read the Tao Ching in like an hour. Um, yeah. Four hours. You can read that in like an hour. Oh, all right. I need to do that. <laughs> in like an hour. If you're a quick reader, half an hour. Like yeah. You get a based on, then it's based on the um, translation too. So, yeah. you know, so I'm not sure if you'll go from... I guess it was Chinese to German. You'll get the... I'm not sure what versions it have. Because yeah. like the versions, you would get... Mm. Translations versus what we would get would be different. So, yeah. what do you, your preferred language would be? What German, like read it in German or read in English or read in Spanish? What was it? What's your way of digesting? Well, literature? German or English. I prefer English if it's like. Um, sometimes I prefer English because it's like better in terms of like translation, or if it's like the original text, I read English, or if there's no tr German translation, I read English, but sometimes I read German. Um, yeah. By the way, yeah. right now I'm reading the biography of Mahatma Gandhi. Like mm. he's a controversial figure. That's a, yeah, that's he's a, a quite con controversial that's figure. A, but yeah, guy. in this country? No, 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 not in this country. Like in what I've read about him, what I know about yeah. him, um, <laughs> I guess in every scenario, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Yeah. You know, so he's done a lot in the way of changing the way we perceive lesser beings than us. Yeah. What really stood out to me was when he talked about um, how we treat animals is kind of like a representative of how we think or how we treat ourselves. Right. You know, so any society that you see abusing animals, yeah, you kind of tend to see that in other developmentally. Mm, interesting. You know. Interesting. So that was that was Mahatma Gandhi. Interesting. But then there's the colored past, you know, and the. The, the other the, stuff. The other stuff. The other stuff. Yeah, yeah so when you reach there, I don't want to spoil it to you. You, 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 get you, you enjoy. You enjoy. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. So um, we have reached to the end of our show. All right. All right. Um, we really appreciate you coming out. If you have any final words to the, the, the viewers. I don't know. Thank you okay. guys for uh, inviting us here. And uh, I don't know. I got like, uh, you, if it's okay for. Yeah, all right. Plug away, plug away, pause. All right, I've got a YouTube channel called uh, The Pilgrimage of Life. I actually, today I uploaded a video where I talk about my journey. I've got some um, Instagram and TikTok too. It's all The Pilgrimage of Life, all together and all small. And yeah, I am probably gonna go into the Amazon rainforest in Venezuela next. But uh, I think I'll stay a little bit longer in Venezuela. In Trinidad. Yes. Final words. You see, guys, he's not, he's not, he's not working for an intelligence agency. I had, to, uh, guys, so stop asking. Me. Stop, just stop asking. Me. He cool thing. He's eat. He just likes walking a lot and pilgrimage shit. He's not working for you know. Mm. Probably KGB. We we, we not. <laughs> if he's a Russian, probably. Call for that. Yeah. He um, might be. Might be. Mm. Okay. So you know, yeah. So in a world of black and white, don't be the guy on the corner in the gray jeans. Do good every time. Good will follow. We out. <laughs>